November 8th. The Fruit of the Spirit Peace. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. John 14 27. Being justified by faith in his blood we have peace. What peace can there be so long as our guilty conscience dreads each footstep, lest it be for its arrest? Though some rich evildoer is surrounded by the trappings of wealth and state, what is their value, when at any moment he fears that the story of his crime may get out? The first condition of peace is to see your sin, borne by Christ in his own body on the cross. The second condition is to keep his words, his commandments. See in every pressing duty your master's call. Do everything in his name and for his glory. This is the way that Jesus lived. He came down, not to do his own will, but the Father's, and in every incident, as it offered, he felt that God's bell was ringing to some new opportunity of service. Sometimes you must just bear his will, at others you must fulfill it. Say to him each day, I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. The rule of duty is changed into the service of love, that counts no sacrifice too great no alabaster box too costly. Peace for the troubled heart. Jesus is not unmindful of your human affections and anxieties. Does he expect you to be absorbed with his interests, and will he not look after yours? He knows where your loved ones are, their names, their needs, their sorrows. He will do exceeding abundantly for them. Did not David have the lame Mephibosheth to his table? because he was Jonathan's son, did not the Lord heal Peter's wife's mother out of love for Peter? Hand over to Christ all that makes you anxious, both for yourself and others. Transmit and commit. Hand over, and then hands off. Let the peace of Christ keep heart and mind as a sentry, and rule within as the sole judge and arbiter of thought and action. If any thought would intrude which would break in upon our peace, let it be arrested on the threshold, if any passion would arise that threatens the harmony of our inner household, let the solution be the peace of Christ. My peace, he said, i.e., the peace that kept and ruled him. He calls us to share it, not hereafter only, but here and now. It is his legacy guaranteed to us, by his blood, and by the gift of the Holy Spirit. Prayer O Lord May I not be satisfied with refraining from sin, but as I abide in Thee, may I bear the fruits of the Spirit, which are love, joy, and peace, to Thy honor and glory. Amen.